Hi, my name is Kamari Mitchell, and the book I chose for my ORP project is The Help by Katherine Stockett. I chose this book because I found it very interesting as well as ed educational because of how the author went more in depth about what people of color went through after segregation ended in the early 1960s, especially more like focused on the women and the only job that they were offered, which is housekeeping and taking care of white people's babies and cleaning their houses. The author was inspired when she moved out of the South after graduating in Alabama. Um, and once she had left her hometown, she realized that having POC work as maids was not as normal as she thought because even she had grown up um, with a black maid raising her. And she, her keeper was named Dimitri who had also inspired the book. And after publishing The Help, Stockett professed that she was in disbelief that it took her 20 years uh, to realize how unjust POC were being treated solely for their skin color. And the main reason for her writing the book was to understand why it, she never saw the duplicity of things happening in the South and why it was so normalized. The Help is a historical fiction book based in Jackson, Mississippi in the early 1960s. The book focuses on three characters, Abilene, Minnie, and Mesquiter. Mesquiter, or Abilene, uh, narrates the entire book. It's in first person. And Abilene and Minnie are both two maids in Jackson, Mississippi, and they're caring for two uh, white families. Miss Skeeter had just graduated college and she is, um, she's going back to Jackson, Mississippi to work again and she goes back to her family's cotton plantation and realizes that the maid who uh, raised her is no longer there, but she had been there her whole life. So, um, but no one tells her what happened to her or why she's missing. So, later in the story, you find out what happens. But, um, so Skeeter Eugenia, which is her first name, tries to live up to her mother's expectations and act like a woman, act proper. Um, but sh she just doesn't really fit in with the rest of the girls, and she really wants to be a writer. So she, um, she, uh, finds a job at the, at Jackson's newspaper and she gets a small task to talk about housekeeping in Jackson, Mississippi. And she's a privileged white woman who, I mean, she doesn't know a thing about cleaning because she's had a housekeeper her whole life. So she goes to Abilene, a maid she's familiar with, and tries to ask about what housekeeping is like for her and the more Abilene opens up about it the more Mosquito realizes that there was like a lot she didn't know about and a lot of racism racism going on and that it was more than just a job to make money um so it was a lot more than she had expected and her goal is to find 12 other uh black women to speak out about their experiences um and Minnie is also one of those women. The main theme of this book is racial prejudice and the main conflict is racial discrimination. One of the quotes, I picked two quotes, um, both start to unravel like the story of the um, book. Um, and one of the uh, quotes is by Minnie and she says, what am I doing? I must be crazy giving a white woman the sworn secrets of the colored race to a white lady. In this quote, Minnie is expressing how she feels uncomfortable telling Miss Skeeter about her experiences as a black woman because she has trouble trusting white people because of experiences of racial discrimination she's dealt with, as well as if this story gets out, any of the women that tell their story could potentially be murdered. Um, but 
um, she's throughout the story she starts to kind of open up a little bit and later in this chapter Abilene states she says I'm proud of what I'm selling I can't help it we're all telling a story that needs to be told Abilene is a little more open to sharing what she's been through because she doesn't really have anything to lose since she lost her son um, in the past year due to a sad accident, which you find out early in the story. Um, and so Abilene starts to rub off on Minnie a little bit and slowly they start to trust Miss Skeeter more and bring more women into the story. Um, and they slowly start to speak up for themselves and build more dynamic characteristics. Um, so that was my summarization for The Help. And if you think you would find this book interesting, I think you would also like uh, The Hate You Give, which is a book that fights to solve racial injustice um, and has a woman of color as the main character. She uh, had recently lost uh, one of her best friends due to police officer shooting him, but no one's really speaking up about it at the school she goes to. Um, so she fights to stand, speak up for her people and herself and her best friend that she had lost. Um, another book I recommend that fights for discrimination um, is Wonder by R.J. Palacio which is about a boy who had been homeschooled his whole life, but um, goes to public school and deals with a lot of discrimination because of the way he looks. Um, and last but not least, I recommend Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, which is also good and deals with an orphan who leaves the orphanage and joins a bunch of other outcasts in the circus. Um, and if you do end up reading The Help, there's also a movie um, on a lot of streaming services. So yeah, that was my ROP.